Hello Virgos, welcome to your love reading for June 2024. If it resonates, consider a personal pre-record or a live reading. I am running a 24-hour turnaround special with additional bonus minutes. I will leave the link below in the description box so you can take advantage of it. Otherwise, just click the link on the link tree below. Click the click on the link tree below or text me at 646-902-5715. Let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Virgos, for love, for June 2024? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe and closer to divine? Can you please show me the love energies prior to June for Virgos prior to June? What are the love energies prior to June for Virgos? We have the Five of Cups in the upright. Make sure you click on your Vimeo link below for what is your ex thinking? How can you move on from someone if you'd like to? And who is your soulmate coming in for you in June? So I changed the format up a little bit. If you want me to go back to um, what your ex is thinking or feeling, let me know and I'll do that. I'm looking for suggestions for extendeds. Um, Knight of Pentacles in the upright is energies in June. And in my playlist, your 2025 Sun Moon readings are going to continue to come out. Put your requests in the comments. I'll put you in queue. 2024s are still in there. See if they rang true for you or somebody else. And we end on the Ten of Pentacles as you move out of June into July. Finally, look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, donate, or for a friend in support of my efforts. It's always greatly appreciated. Let's get to your reading. So it looks like prior to June, not so good. Um... Five of Cups in the upright is when you're distraught in the absolute depths of your heart and you're having a very, very difficult time getting over something. It's almost this deep grief that you're feeling. And if you notice this lady, she's looking in this like fishbowl and that's all that she sees. She doesn't see anything around her. So whatever it was, I feel as though you dwelled on it, you're really absorbed with it in it and you weren't seeing all the hope and all those wonderful things that are around you just because you were so grief stricken. So Looks like you're going through a hard time prior to June. Now in June, it seems as though there's something that you're observing. So it could, it, I obviously it's going to be a person, it could be a romantic prospect since it's a love reading, although it doesn't always have to be for love. Um, and I feel as though you're being tentative. You're kind of looking and wondering, what am I getting into? You know, is, is this a really good idea? Um, so it's almost like you're studying and you're wondering, what would the plan be if I were to get into this? How would this kind of pan out? Um, and I feel as though, you know, you don't want something that that is too much that you can't handle. So I, I feel as though you almost want to just have a plan in place before you move towards it. You kind of want to know if it's going to be a possible relationship, how would it actually work? And you're just kind of turning that over in your mind and trying to figure out um, how you'd move forward in regards to that. Um, now, the Ten of Pentacles in reversed June going into July, I feel as though you're not seeing this as something that could lead to a long-term commitment. Um, one of the things I'm getting is I feel like the concepts that the two of you have in regards to family don't necessarily jive. I feel maybe your families don't get along or maybe if you were to have a family, practically you you don't agree on things. Um, so, I mean, I, I don't see you viewing this as a very solid person from your perspective. And I mean, you guys are very much about the practical and the predictable and somebody who's solid. And and um, another thing I think that you don't like about this person is they aren't, they don't work very hard. I feel like you're a very hard worker and you take it very seriously. And this person keeps on trying to get you to not work or, or is saying, oh, you work too much. And, um, you know, you're always, you always think that money's the most important thing and, and things of that nature. And I think that's where the two of you aren't really kind of jiving. But let me see what's going on here. Why is this five of cups here in the upright? Who's the person? What's this energy? I almost feel like I'm missing a page from this book here. But why is the five of cups here in the upright for Virgos? Wow, really hard time. Emotional hardship. Trying to get one foot in front of the other and move forward from this. You could have been left out in the cold. Somebody could have cast you out. 
as a result, I think you're holding, you were holding on to everything that you, you held dear to you just so that you felt um, safe. So you felt secure. You're almost like, you feel like everything had been taken away from you. So you're holding on to what little things you have left just so you could feel better about the situation. Whatever it was, it ended terribly. The Ten of Swords in the Upright, that is uh, something that absolutely came out of nowhere. You may have felt betrayed. It was a very painful ending. So whatever it is, I don't think you're necessarily amicable with a person. Um, it, it really just pulled the rug out from under your feet. You didn't feel like you had power to necessarily do anything about it. The cycle definitely ended and it, it ended on a very dark note. So not a very good thing. And maybe that's why you're being so cautious about... Uh, uh, somebody who is in the distance or somebody who's approaching you or somebody you're considering because there's no way you seem to want to go through that again i mean who would why is the knight of pentacles here in the upright for virgos who's this person what's this energy additional messages please okay and i'm gonna get the strength card in the reversed we have the hierophant card in the reversed yeah i mean i think you're kind of looking at this a little bit flawed um uh, it's hard to say i mean we the card of leo we the card of taurus here if i didn't say that so the strength card in reverse i feel immediately you're kind of absorbing this and because of your past experience you're doubting that this would work you're saying to yourself i don't i'm not really confident that this is something that would work i don't i don't trust this i'm feeling really my feelings aren't on board for this. I'm feeling very insecure about this and moving towards this. So again, that caution going on. Hierophant card in reverse tells me that you don't think that it has the elements to become a committed relationship. You actually think that this might be a bad idea or this person is not that great when it comes to relationships they may be very haphazard they're not very um buttoned up they're not very regimented and you like people that are a little more regimented this person could be a little bit of a rebel and and this is like that and i don't feel like you're very comfortable with that but with the magician card in the upright interestingly enough i feel as though you're saying well if i if i use everything that i have i could see it working um you can almost see the vision of it working but I see you saying that a lot of work would have to go into this and you would have to pull everything that you had and direct your energy into this to have it, you know, become something. So you're hopeful, but it has bad elements associated with it that aren't making you feel comfortable. Let's put it this way. I think you're seeing more of the wrong with it than you are with the right with it. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here in reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional... Oh additional messages i mean and and you guys tend to do that you tend to be a little critical you know of a situation see the flaws okay so despite these things that are kind of going on and the red flags I feel like you don't really know what to do with this you're not doing anything for the time being you're just kind of sitting on it you're thinking on it you're trying to use other aspects rather than you know what you see is what you get Okay, but with the Thief card in the upright and the Knight of Cups in reverse, I think that you feel that this person is no good. Um, one thing, the Thief card is somebody who does things without getting caught. So you might have either picked up on the fact that you guys are very detail oriented. So you could have been, you know, kind of found that out. Or you might have found out another way or had a sense that they just do things that are not very moral, not very ethical. Um, they do shortcuts. Um, honestly, I feel like this person doesn't have the same work ethic as you do. So I feel as though you don't have respect for them. They're, they're going to find the shortest way to kind of do something rather than, than the direct way that involves hard work. And I feel as though that's disappointing to you. I keep on getting, I can't respect this person because of how they are. And I can't see myself being with them long-term because of this. It's almost like it goes against your value system in some way. So, I mean, you were cautious, but then I, I feel as though you just know because of how they're built. 
um, either you're no longer attracted to them or you just know that it's going to be not a good scenario. So that's what I have for you all. Again, if it resonates, consider personal pre recorded or live reading. I am running that 24 hour turnaround special, which ends plus bonus minutes, which ends tomorrow at midnight New York City time. Um, otherwise, click on the link tree below or text me at 646-902-5715. Make sure you click on your Vimeo link below. I'm going to have three separate topics in there. What is your ex thinking? How can you move on from someone you want to move on from and who is your soulmate coming towards you in my playlist here 2025 sun moon readings that are going to continue to come out. I'm a teacher. It's a tough time of year. Um, <laughs> have pity on me. Um, 2024s are still in my playlist. See if they rank true for you. And then finally, if you could look me up on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, like, share, subscribe, donate, or for a friend in support of my efforts. That's always greatly appreciated. Otherwise, Virgos, I will see you in your Vimeo reading. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.